gonna be teaching you how to draw the 3d letter T oh yes you heard me right um, till now we have drawn the 3d letter H and the 3d letter I today we're gonna be doing the 3d letter T so if it's so if it comes in your name comment down below so that I know that it starts with your name yes and commenting down it helps us build up our YouTube algorithm and it's it helps the channel grow so please comment down below and give the video a big like so, without wasting any much time, let us jump right in! Okay, so let us start by discussing all the materials that we need. First of all, we need a sheet that is of A4 size. I am using the longer A4 size. We need an eraser, a pencil, I'm using the shade 2B, drawing pencils, 2B shade, a scale, and some markers okay so yeah let us start by folding the sheet in half um, now remember we don't need to fold the sheet completely in half but we just need a bit of crease so don't fold it like you do in origami just press it point and release it so we need this point and that's it now that we have our point with my pencil I'm just gonna mark an 8 centimeter line over there Okay, a point at eight centimeters. At the there we have an eight centimeter dot. Now from there, I'm gonna mark a line of four centimeters, right? Whatever you think is straight according to you. Then we mark a point at one centimeter from there, and then from that point, a two centimeter point from there. Now from here, the it will be five centimeters long. I'm sorry, it will be four. A okay, four centimeter and four centimeter from here as well. Right there. Okay. Now from the second line that we have put, you wanna bring a line out for of measuring five centimeters. Okay, five. And this side too, only four centimeter this side. 4.5 okay 4.5 centimeters now that you have it um, when we put it in 3d like this they both will stand to be equal but we know that they're not equal right um, that is what draws the optical illusion now we put a line of one centimeter right there and it will tilt Tilted, but I'm not that much tilted, just a bit tilted line of one centimeter there, like that, and a one centimeter there, and a one centimeter here, and we join the first two. These two. We join that, we join these two, and we bring this line till about a point that stands still here and we join right there now as you can see our above part is ready now this bottom part right okay now we'll just draw the bottom part and i'm gonna um, put it at an angle let's say this much and a line of seven centimeters right there okay seven centimeters from here and again, seven centimeters from here. And seven centimeters from here. Okay, and now we put a straight line here and we mark the point on the above line there. And we need to erase till that part. Okay, I'll just make it up again. Right till that point. Okay, as you can see now this much part is ready uh, for ours and now we connect this line, then we bring, we connect these two, okay, 
And now if I fold the sheet from that point there, right? If I fold it, Okay, and I put it at an angle. I'll just show you what the angle will look like. And we'll get it there, okay? I'll just cut the video and show you. Okay, there you can see that. Now, yeah, if you see that from this angle, it looks like that your T is standing in midair, right? Now, let's just color it up and put the shadow there. And I'll also teach you how to set the right angle for your audience. Let us start. Right now, our the base for T is ready, and now let's just draw the shadow. Okay, right there, this much. There. There and yeah, connecting to that. That is. Okay, just step it. Okay, now let us draw the shadow for our... Okay, now let's draw the shadow for our three letter T, right? Now, from here. Like that, that, there, 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 there. Like that, okay? Now this much part is ready, now let us start coloring it up okay um this time okay i'll use the color blue okay okay i'll just start coloring it up quickly and i'll just use shades of blue this time i'm coloring blue then i'll use pink and purple which will give it the shade of purple colors yeah our teeth almost colors i'll just quickly do it okay purple and boom done right now so we have completed our coloring part now let us do the shadow part right now okay now i'll just erase the sh outline and we'll write up again let us write That's a bit small. We'll make it a bit fat. Right in. Now this is looking a bit hazy, now I'll just get my cotton buds and we'll just start shading, okay? Oh, I got it. So yeah, let us start shading it up. Don't worry if it's going out for now. As you can see, it's getting black, which is exactly what we need. Okay, now this is black, which was what we needed, and now we just erase it, okay? I got my razor, now let's just erase it up. You'll know why I erased it in the first place, okay? I'll tell you after erasing it. Okay, I'll just erase it. Ah, there, it's erased. Okay, now let's dry it up again. You don't want to lose that cotton bud, okay? We'll just dry it again. Now, if you're wondering why I raised it, it was just so that 
that cotton bud would get its edge black. Now, because it is black now, you'll be able to shade it exactly of the color of the shadow we desire. Right now, you can see it's coloring itself properly. And you want it to get out, okay, so that it gets perfect at the end. Just make it go out of its edges and that there. Now, if it's getting a bit dark, you can shade it like that. This is one of the best techniques of shadow drawing, yeah? Now just take your scale, and this is a bit tricky part. You just put it there, put your scale there, and you want to draw that line there. Right about there. This makes our shadow's edges perfect, as you can see, okay? I'll just do the same here. Okay. There. Yeah, right. This shape. Okay. Yeah. There. Yeah, now from here, this is a tricky part. There. Like that. Okay, this. Now we have our shadow which is looking pretty much natural and now let's learn how to set the right angle for our audience, right? I'm just going to cut the video there. Right. Hey, here we are. Now to set the right angle for our audience, first of all we need a wall, our, a table or a flat surface and our drawing. So it's like this, you just fold it. I'll just fold it a bit like that there and you put it against the wall okay you make sure it stands still and it's like this so you just bring them at the right angle like that there we go as you can see it's giving the effect that it's actually standing in air and it's looking pretty tall than it used to when it was flat yeah there we have it, our 3D letter T. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And so I hope you enjoyed the video and you enjoyed making it. And so if you try to draw it, just remember a few guidelines that all the lines that are connected should be parallel to each other. Yeah, that makes your drawing look amazing. And I hope you enjoyed it. So if you enjoyed it, just give the video a thumbs up. To stay connected to our channel, click the um, subscribe icon and if you want regular updates from me and you want to get a notification whenever I put a new video, just click on the bell icon there and you can even follow me on my Instagram page. My Instagram ID is insta underscore origami dot treasure. So yes, subscribe to origami treasure right now. So yeah, bye bye. In the next video, we'll be making the 3D letter E, okay? So comment down from which letter your name starts so that I know it. Yeah? Okay, so bye-bye. Have a nice day.